Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a DIY MIDI reactor. Um, so far it cost about 45 bucks in parts. The container is these lovely plastic jars that were 3 bucks of the dollar store. Plastic lids, we can drill through it. I'm going to be using these little adapters, kind of like a mini bulkhead. So there'll be one in the center, and there's going to be attached to my pipe going down, and a second one just at the top for my return. These are a couple bucks for six or seven of them at the Michaels. So I'm going to cut those to fit and those are going to be kind of my little trays to hold the media. Um, if I need more I can always just make it a bit thicker with a second one. The PVC and I found these filter rings that are pretty much the same size as the top. So that should do about the trick. So at the end of the day there will be about 25-30 bucks each to build which is a lot cheaper than about 100 bucks each at the store. So we will get to building. So you're going to start by making a hole in the exact center of the lid. Uh, what I'm doing is going to use this little ring as kind of my guide. And I just cut out the center. So once it looks even all the way around, I'm going to draw a little dot in the middle. And that will be my guide to start the hole. I'll probably use a step drill bit to make the hole big enough to get the bottom of the screw in to fit inside. So now that i got the center holes drilled, I'm going to slowly start using a step drill bit until I get it to the right size for that screw to just fit in the hole. And then we'll have to figure out where the second one's going to go. It's going to be one centered and one offset wherever it fits beside it. So next you're going to have to figure out which way you want your outlets. Um, unfortunately, I've cracked one of them. So I'm going to coat the top in epoxy or something like that afterwards once I decide which way. Um, I also did have to sand down one of these to get them to both fit on there. So next I'm going to drill four holes in this, and this is going to be the water output that's going to sit in the center of the chamber. Got the center pipes cut, uh, put the end caps on, and drilled four holes in it. So that will force the water down the center and back up around the sides around it. And these just slip right over top. So, may put a sponge in there, we'll see, but... Now, since I seem to have cracked both of the lids, um, it's a little thin, so what I'm going to do is get the pieces fitted. Um, I sanded it down just to grip, make it a little more grippy, and I'm going to pour in the two-part polyurethane into over top of this, so it will kind of form like a layer over top, as well as seal this to that. So it'll be kind of double layer of waterproofing and it should make the top nice and strong. Mix up some two-part polyurethane and I just poured that in, but it should fill my cracks and hopefully give it all a good seal. Well, the stuff dries fairly quickly, so in about 10-15 minutes I should be able to touch it and probably let it cure at least overnight before I fully test it. But it should be good. DIY reactors are testing successful. Pump in 200 gallons per hour split, so they're getting about 100 gallons per hour each, and so far no leaks, and everything's looking good, O-ring's holding, everything should be good to go. So a nice coat of paint on the tops, and I think they're set. So the reactors are finally finished, uh, they tested excellent, you can saw in the last clip, and they're fully waterproof. I got them painted up so it actually looks nice and pretty now. Just use Krylon Fusion paint for that. Uh, the top was a two part polyurethane epoxy to seal it all together. Uh, unscrew off nice and easy. Um, so I did have a crack in it. So I used super glue on the inside. There's a rubber o ring from an RO filter in there. Um, this fitting is a slip fitting, so as long as you drilled your hole in the center, it will just slide right over top of this and it's nice and easy to screw on. So that just pops on on its own. And with, I also did add sponges, so if I have carbon or something in there, it will hold it nice and tight. I just bought a square block and cut it up to fit. And same thing on both of them. So I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And yeah. Excellent project. It costs about approximately 30 bucks each to build. And yeah, enjoy.